do, do you have confidence in the in the vaccine program? Because you you, you apparently haven't said whether you've had the vaccine yet. I do have confidence in the programme and I think everybody should take advantage of it if they wish to. But why won't you say if you have? Well, because some years ago I was asked some extremely unpleasant questions about my health. In, the other, in other words, the health between my ears. They were extremely rude and extremely intrusive questions and they were nasty and they were wrong. So I took a vow at that point, that I would not discuss my personal health with anybody, even you, Ian. I'll have one more go. You'll have one more go? One more go. I've given you an answer. It was quite a good answer. No, it's a perfectly fair answer. But I would say that you are a, a thought leader... You're a former leader of a political party. What you, what your words count, and if you say to people, "Look, I've taken the vaccine. I think you should too." I suspect there would be people out there who would take notice well, of that. Let me help you. I have been to my local community centres and our local mosque that was open for people to get vaccines who hadn't got any appointment because many people don't get it together to get an appointment or don't have a GP and all all that sort of thing. And I've supported the campaign to get vaccinations locally and uh, I will continue to do that. So I take that as a yes. Well, you can... Well, you're a very perceptive man. You're a thought leader yourself, you know. I've, I've, I tell you, when I had my first one, that's the first thing I said on, on the show because... and and. I mean, you take my point about people nosing, nosing, nosing around about my health in I, the past. No, I absolutely do do that. But I, I remember when I talked about the fact that I was having, because I'm in a clinically vulnerable group, and mm. I, I said it because I knew, I'm not a virologist, I'm not an epidemiologist, but I knew that there are people <clears> out there who've listened to me on the radio for 10 years who will take notice of things. I know it's yeah. incredibly to, incredible to believe that, but they will take notice of what I say. And mm. I think you are, I, I mean you're far more than a sort of gob on a stick radio presenter. So I think what you say has an impact. Well, I want us to conquer this um, pandemic and I want us to conquer it around the whole world and learn the lesson. Inequalities and poverty have been exacerbated by all of this. Things have got to go in the other direction. <laughs> 